How y'all doing? Thank you for coming and hanging out with me today as I get some stuff done. Ah, yeah, got some bits and pieces I want to get done today on a gonas, and I thought I'd stream it because, you know, why not? So, uh, what are we working on? Uh, let me share my screen. Oof. There we go. Check me up in the right-hand corner. Excellent. Um, something really simple. I thought I'd just get it done and pump it out. Um... Uh, got some people who are trying out of goners. uh i think they might actually be students i could be wrong uh i just have a feeling from the slack questions and um what's the words i'm looking for and uh now they're trying to use the goners and it looks like uh, some health check might be failing or something like that and um what's the words i'm looking for here i don't know my brain's not working today it's a that's a end of the day on monday anyway so um you can see they're one of the game servers is unhealthy and they're like, why? I don't understand why. And I had to look through the events here and we can see that it comes into unhealthy, but the message is SDK state change. So I know because I wrote a gone as that, uh, it's probably likely that what's actually happening is that they're not, um, their health check isn't running or the health check is failing for some reason. And that's well just not good first of all uh but also the message doesn't really tell them anything um so i think we'd change that and make it better uh as i said here we should change the event message something like failed health check i think that would be that would be clearer so cool let's do that and i got some other stuff i want to get done today as well like um whatchamacallit uh i got some pr reviews as well Cool. All right. So, all right. Um, all right. So we've got that going. Let's pop over here. Wait, where did my, where did my IntelliJ go? Where did my IntelliJ go? Yeah, huh. I just, I just fired up IntelliJ. That's weird. Cause you know, how does technology work? Really? No. Where did it go? One, two, three. Oh, it's there. Oh, I put it on a different workspace. Okay, fun. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I pulled up here the code. So basically, we have this uh, sidecar service that runs inside of Gones, uh alongside uh, a what you call it? Alongside a game server process, and the SDK connects to it, and it does stuff, and it's handy. My wife is on her way home, which means that my dog will get very excited in a minute. <clears throat> so, um, I'm going to pop that open because it's bigger. My thinking is, so, um, ooh, that's deprecated. What should we be using instead? Something else. Eh, I'll worry about that later. Um, minor issue. So, Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Um, how does this work again? I just want to make sure I know. So we have this worker queue that does all our operations. Here we go. So blah, 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 blah. Pull that in here. That's better. Okay, so sync game server. We have a worker queue. We have sync game server, and it does some stuff. What does it do? Uh, it switches on the operation based on the key, based on update state, update label annotation. Okay, cool. Um, and then we say update state. So what happens here? her uh because we're going to assume there's an unhealthy thing that's come through cool um yep that's fine too if oh that's interesting that's new that's some sort of like ligature type thing going on yeah neat yeah fancy um so if it's unhealthy we log the game server and already healthy all right so the judge okay got it got it got it um Excuse me. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. So we are setting the reserve status and duration, blah, blah, blah. We don't care about that. Okay, cool. And then we just update into the actual thing. Sweet. And then we want to put an event message on it. Okay, sweet. I'm just remembering how all this stuff works. Uh, default is... Mess okay, so we have a default message level, which is SDK state change. We have a default level, which is event type normal. Um, 
and uh, game server unhealthy, we set it to a warning, which we saw in that test before, which is cool. So when we have in here, we see an event, unhealthy, warning. Sweet, that seems to be working the way it's meant to be. <clears throat> so far, so good. Uh, so in theory, if we get an unhealthy through, I think that it only does uh, unhealthy when the health check fails. But let's double check that. Let's double check that that's actually the case. And what I think is true is actually true. Oh, and here comes my Wi-Fi. Uh, so how do we specify this? Let's say game server unhealthy. And there's my wife. And the dog's very excited. Okay, we have this run health command. Cool. Do, 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 do. All right, and we run this health every time there's a timeout. All right, cool. Cool. I will say hello to my wife very quickly. Hey, I'm streaming. Just letting you know. What? I'm just streaming. Just letting you know. Cool. So let's run health. So do the thing where we check our health. And uh, are we healthy? Okay, so that does like health updated and blah, 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 blah. Check the failure account and whoop, don't do that. Um, SDK server. Cool, go back. And if we get a timeout, let's not update it, blah, blah, blah. Right. If it's not healthy, let's just double check what that actually means. It's really interesting now that it's got that little folding thing. That's kind of cute. That must be new. Um, and then we return if the failure count is less than, okay, got it. All right. So I think we can actually say with with pretty good certainty that uh, if we go into unhealthy, then we know that the health check failed. Awesome. Um, thing I really want to do though, is I want to see that there's an end to end test for this because if there isn't, then there's no point. Uh, and we can't actually uh, know whether or not this is the thing that we can test and know and stuff. So let's have a look. Uh, boof. Uh, let's have a look. Health. Uh, after deleting pod, after ready crash, test health check disable. Interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. Test unhealthy game server without free ports. No, that's not what I want. I thought there was actually a unhealthy. Reserve, self allocate, unhealthy after leading pod, disable. There goes my dog. Hey. She's very excited because. Uh, okay, so this one does a test and it says, okay, it's already. Do we send an unhealthy to anything? Because that's usually what we do when we. Huh, we don't have a test for this. That's a problem. That's, yeah, that's actually a problem. I just realized. Okay. So we need some tests. Um, <laughs> my dog is very excited. Her mum is home. It's very important. Okay. So uh, we need to write a test for this. This is a thing. All right. Um, we have installed here right now ah perfect we have 1.2.0 rc perfect that'll actually work out really nicely okay so i have a cluster it's already got everything already on it beautiful um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna start by writing a test for this um let's say all right so we're gonna call it test unhealthy game server after health check fail Unless I've got that like somewhere else, did I really not write a test for this? I am like really like kind of upset with myself for not having a test for this. Let's have a little quick look. Unhealthy. Oops. 
uh, in project, yeah, just open a fine window, do that for me. Now oh, my layout's not ideal. Um, nope, string constants, here we go. Test end to end. Fleet test. What's going on here? So we do eventually test a bit. Yeah, still that's not, that's not really what I want. All right, all right, well. This actually means I need to write the test and um, it's our health check fail. All right, sweet. Beautiful. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, I don't need any of that stuff actually. I can probably steal some stuff. What can I steal? Uh, give me a default game server. That sounds like a good thing. Uh, what does the default game server have in it? Da, 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 da. Container, template, okay, nothing about health checking in here. Okay, so the default's fine anyway. Beautiful. Um, we can create it. Yep, that's also useful. Cool. Um, framework dot create game server and wait until ready. Default namespace and uh, JS. And that returns something. Game server error. All right, cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Assert dot no error. T error. All right. Not sure we need this yet. Uh, we probably will. But all right, so it gives us a, a, a thing. Uh, we're gonna say that it's ready. Great. Um, where is I had a? I can steal this. Unhealthy. Come on, give me one. Thank you. Beautiful. I'm gonna send a GS of unhealthy. Um. I should get a response back. I'd like to have a response back. It would make me feel good. It would make me happy. Oh, I'm looking at the framework. Uh, give me a test. Really? There is nothing else that says unhealthy in here. In which case, go on. Blam. Really? Really? Uh, yeah, give me one of those. Give me, yeah, that one, that one, that one. It's exactly the one I want, actually. I like to have the assertion. Makes me happy. Cool. Uh, you're gonna want to do that. Or are you gonna complain? No, not really. All right, sweet. All right, um, and um, error equals framework dot wait for game server state. GS game server server state uh, unhealthy. That should just be a cert dot no error t error. Why are you complaining? Count mismatch. Because that's going to return the game server itself. Yep. Uh, but we don't care about the first one. All right, cool. Now, what are you complaining about? Why? Game server state. Ah, flip. I'm out. Uh, one time for a minute. Definitely should be done by a minute, if not more. <clears throat> and I'm gonna switch the layout on this really quickly. Um, give me one sec. Window import project layout. Project. Maybe one sec. 
Uh, I have a, there's a thing you can import and export layouts inside IntelliJ, and I had it set for my widescreen monitor. So now I have it set to uh, this screen, which should actually be much nice, nicer. Okay. Why are you complaining now? Uh, games are, can I use this as type game server? Ah, come here. Flip those two. Now I hit F2. Yeah, it's still the same thing. Um, game server state timeout. Beautiful. Game server state timeout. Okay, beautiful. So this, in theory, should work. Um, what I am going to do down here is just put a uh, logarith.info finish test waiting for a minute. Um, and why am I doing this? The uh, reason I'm doing this is because I actually want to see what's actually happening behind the scenes. So let's run this. Should get a compiling thing. Sweet, boom, ready for ready. All right, let's uh, get GS. Beautiful, it's ready. Excellent. Uh, I should actually see a thing. Does it have any logging in it? No. Nah. Finish test, waiting for a minute. Beautiful, okay, so now if I have a look, unhealthy, fantastic. That's what I wanted, I wanted to see that, so it should actually pass. GS. Um, it's like only one game server. Yeah, exactly, thank you. <clears throat> All right, so we can see unhealthy SDK state change. Okay, so we can replicate the thing that we want. Um, that's good. Glad to see that, except for one other small thing I just realized as well, which is to say, if I come into package SDK server, SDK server test, uh, here we go. If I change that value, my test's gonna fail. Don't know. Anyway, I'll let that finish. So I'm gonna leave that alone the way it is. Um, what I will make sure I do, just very, very quickly. Beautiful. Gives me a to do. Uh, if you haven't seen what I do, this I, I have a tuxu which uh, is just a pattern I use for to-dos that I actually want to remove because other people put to-dos in your code and I don't like that. This is just letting me know that I need to actually do a thing. Okay. <clears throat> um, all right, so. Let me enqueue a state. That's just not what I want. Uh, sync state. Sync game server. Beautiful. Update state. You can go away. All right, so unhealthy message equals health check failure. Seems reasonable. That's any other way of doing that. All right, so sweet, that sounds good. Uh, let's have a look at our test. Let's see if we're all our uh, tests pass still or if anything fails. I'd actually like it if something failed. That would make me very happy. Boop, 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 come on. Okay, I would, I would actually like it if something failed, just because then I know that if there's a value I can change and I make sure that I know it's tested. But we'll find out. Running tests, there we go, beautiful. Do, 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 do. There's a lot of tests, which is good. And everything's gonna pass, isn't it? Yes, it is, of course it is. All right, let's see if we can find a test that we can futz with. Um, where are your annotations, recordings? Shut down unhealthy recordings. String warning, what does that get done with that? That looks like it might be something I can use. Uh, <clears throat> so when we come down here, Reactor, annotations, with the recordings. Here we go, event contains, ah, there we go, excellent. Uh, what does that even do? 
waits for it. Okay. Waits for an event, confirms that it's good. Okay. Um, so, okay, then we can actually, no, we can't test this. Uh, it should be uh, recordings, warning, string, games are unhealthy. Actually, what's the format here? Uh, but I want to see that SDK state change. Is there anything else that I can use as a test? Um, <clears throat> because that, what happens, I'll just so you know, just within the test thing, this thing here just comes through as one big string. So it's actually a bit of a pain to deal with. Um, <laughs> Actually, that's it. So let's actually, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. We can just make contains. Where else does that get used? Absolutely nowhere else. Aye. <coughs> um, I'm just assert that it contains, that it does the thing. Okay. Uh, frustrating. All right. Uh, for string. Yeah, we're just going to loop around and make sure it does the thing we expect it to do. So I pull out the events. Yeah, no, I can't. Arr. That's a little frustrating. Um, do I ever use more than one recording in here? No, apparently I do not. Um, okay. How do I want to test this? I just want to test that it actually has the value that I think it's going to have. Um, could uh, getting events through the Kubernetes API is genuinely a very painful thing to do, so I'm less inclined to go that way. Um, yeah, really here, somewhere here is the way to do it. Um, huh. What I need to do is actually just be able to do multiples, but, uh, hmm, hmm, go fling. Um, oh, this is not fun. All right, so we're going to do warning, contains, <sighs> almost tempted to change the test a little. Just to make recordings because none of the recording, let's have a look. So hold on, ready is multiple one, 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 right? Like that's all one. And then I come down here and I do the thing where for each expected to find event recording, I do it that way. Whereas what I could do, no, actually I don't like that idea either. <sighs> Could change this, but ugh, that's gonna. That's not gonna be good. That's not gonna be good either. Well, that's just annoying. Um. Do do do. Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> Not immediately obvious. I don't like it. Um, uh, do I have anywhere in here? I do have a fake recorder. Yeah, where do I? Do I? Oops. Do I have a fake recorder anywhere? Okay, and this is, where am I in this? This is test sidecar run. That's not what I want. Uh, default sidecar, yeah, all right. Well, who else has a default sidecar? 
Uh, okay. You all use it. Sweet. Because if there's a default sidecar, then I have a recorder and I could probably do some neat stuff. <clears throat> um, do, 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 do. It's like you're healthy. Maybe this is actually where I want. All right, so. Boom, 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 boom. Disabled over timeout, enabled over timeout, so false, turned to unexpected healthy, true, expected healthy, false. Okay. What does wait for message do? Uh, okay, that's not what I want. Here. Here I could possibly do this. Uh, uh, test. <coughs> Uh, message for uh, events. This is my theory. Let's see if this vaguely works. And also, where does SC come from? <laughs> Am I having a. I have a default sidecar. Problem I'm probably going to have is that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get the right, because the ordering is going to be all wacky. Uh, yeah. Right? Uh, that's not going to work. Yeah, rage. Um, fine, I'm just going to write test. Um, Test sidecar unhealthy message. Sorry, test. There we go. Sidecar unhealthy message. <clears throat> Ooh, did I do that? My end to end test as well? I did. Okay, good. How do I fail this? <laughs> gonna steal what's of this? I haven't got a better answer for this right now. Um, manually set the values. I need that? I don't know if I do. Let's go here. Um, give me a, give me a, give me one that fails. Right, 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 right. So, where am I? Updated, blah blah blah. Health time is there, blah blah blah. Uh, FC dot step ten times time dot second. Uh, FC dot sync. Uh, check health. Yeah, that's what we want. Because that'll do that. Problem. Actually, this isn't even what I want. Um, this isn't what I want. This is bad. Well, not bad, but not what I want. Because um, really, I don't actually need to worry about the checking of the health. I just need to worry about uh, whether I get the message that I actually want in the end, which um, is not... What I'm doing. So here's a, here's our run. Um, I 
I need half of this, but that's okay. Where do I go run on this thing? New SDK server, blah, blah, blah. I actually don't need any of this, which is fine. Uh, <clears throat> Certainness recorder with cancel to for cancel. Okay, so we have a. Where did M come from? Ugh, M equals new mocks, right? Yep. Give me some new mocks. Give me a stop channel. Beautiful. Uh, don't know if I actually really even care about that. Do you need a fake recorder though? I'll take a context with cancel. Uh, I don't know if I care about that really either. <clears throat> eh. How do I do that there? Uh... What do you do it up here? So I run that. Interesting. Yeah, don't care. Cool. Um, yeah. Search dot no error T error. Okay, beautiful. We have a fake recorder. Excellent. Um, now we can manually push through a unhealthy state change. Beautiful. SC dot state uh, equals unhealthy. Oh, come on. Game server state unhealthy. Boom. Um, <clears throat> sc dot nq. Oh, actually, do I need that? Ooh, 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 even better, even better. Yeah, I just don't even have to worry about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just have to do it for me. Perfect. So when I queue a state and it pushes it through to the queue, excellent. Um, and then. Framework dot uh, contains no ag testing dot a set event contains t events which is m dot fake recorder dot events. Um, <clears throat> what did we call it? SDK server sync sync game server. There we go. Uh, update state. Perfect. Where's my thing? I'll check failure. That looks lovely. Uh, yeah, I think that should be pretty good. Let's have a look. No, I mean, this will fail, but you know. Running. Why is it over the left? It should be bottom, but anyway. Ah, rage. Yeah, well, that's not surprising. Okay, so the game server's not there, so now it's complaining, and ugh. <coughs> ugh. But we can fix that. Where are we? Uh, sync game server. Yeah, we'll do the job. Default sidecar, that's fine too. Uh, <sighs> Give me one of these. Um, yeah, I'm going to 
have to start up informers and stuff, even though I really don't feel like it. But anyway. Um, what does that do? Can I get that? <coughs> to be honest, I am not sure why that's in the test. I don't actually know what it does. Huh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um. <laughs> Okay, game server, we'll have a default GS. Uh, local SDK. That seems fine. What am I using usually? Mm -hmm. If I have a look at list. Eh, I'm going to steal that. List, let's find test default. That's right, that's right. Spec has some... Um, we don't actually care about that at all. Uh, don't care about it in the slightest. Uh, starting is fine. <clears throat> Apply defaults and spit it in. Okay, beautiful. That should be better. Yeah, why are you over there? <sighs> what are we going? Negative wet group counter. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Just guess every once in a seen. Yeah, I don't know if I care about that. <sighs> Did the thing, and now I don't know whether I should have done the thing. Uh, this should be on the bottom too. Do, 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 do. Why are you showing up here? Run. Yes. Uh, move to bottom left. Yeah, that works. <clears throat> okay. Genuinely unsure why that's there. Couldn't tell you. Must be a good reason. This has become much more involved than I thought it was going to. There we go. <clears throat> Woof. Okay, so that's doing good stuff. Well, this would be an unhealthy state change. Um, That left the moment. So okay. So if I come here, uh, make G Cloud Stalker. <clears throat> uh, just here. Let's get add minus a. Commit this for now with something simple. Uh, what do we want to write? Something along the lines of better. Error message for uh, health check failure. Um, includes uh, more end-to-end -end and unit tests to cover this scenario. And there's my dog. Um, should improve experience in, and what was it? Uh, 2127. Cool. Uh, make just shift for. Uh, <clears throat> All right, let's build some images and push that stuff up. And we'll see what will happen. So I'm gonna push up this version, uh, get it up and running. 
I see there's no game servers up there now. Nope, good. And that works. <clears throat> that should be good. We can submit this as a pull request. And uh, it should work. Oh, that's good. Let's move it along. Nice. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Excellent, excellent, excellent. my silly dog doing silly things which is what she does because she's silly da, 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 da. but more tests gooder so i'm not complaining about that so while that's going on i will also just do a quick big lint make sure i haven't done anything silly with my code <clears throat> See how that goes. Fun things is it gonna give us? Anything? That's still pushing. Sweet, that is now installing. That exciting. Should be done soon. How are we doing? Ooh. <coughs> Ineffectual assignment to error. What does that even mean? Let's go look. Game server test while that's going on. Because uh, we can fix that. Uh, I think it's that one there, isn't it? Uh, 171. Yep, cert dot no error t error. Okay, that should be better. Thank you for the heads up. All right, so we are up to date. Uh, QSTL. Uh, lovely. Uh, that's interesting about that particular version. Did that not install? Oh, you know what? Sorry, my bad. See, I'll get pods. Yeah, there we go. So we got the new ones. Good, good, good. <clears throat> All right. Um, yeah, let's run our instead test. Let's see what happens. So running. Do 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 do. I've still got this mini here, so we're just gonna do a little manual test. Getting getting events through the Kubernetes API is a real pain. Uh, so I'm not gonna test that here because there isn't a really easy. I don't even know how the kubectl command does it, to be honest. Um, <sighs> eh, we're just waiting for it to fail. Take ten minutes. All right, sweet. There we go. Now I want to describe it. Health check failure. Beautiful. That's what we want to see. Excellent. That is exactly what we want to see. All right, that looks pretty good. And that'll kick over in a second. Um, do, 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 do. We can get rid of this down here. Just do a full test to uh, make sure everything is fine. <clears throat> do a full test. Oh, you know what I haven't done? Uh, no, not that. Uh, here, go import slash w package. 
go and boards test into end. Let's just make sure that's all <clears throat> the way it should be. Yeah, it's all fine. Perfect. I swear everything runs so much slower when I'm streaming. Just because it knows that people are watching. You know, probably something to do with my my you know CPU being used for like streaming stuff, but mostly I just figure it's because it knows people are watching and so everything is just very slow. I figure that's the deal. Okay, yeah, run this test, it's going. Make sure nothing's broken. I'm gonna assume that's all still working. Um, I'm gonna run this test again real quick, just to, uh, uh, you know what I'm also gonna do? I'm gonna go gs.spec.health.failure threshold equals one. Let's just make that <coughs> a little bit faster. Oh, also, don't need that line. All my tests seem to be passing as well. Excellent, just what I like to see. Running tests. Wait for that to hit unhealthy, which it does. Beautiful, I actually did it really quick, which was nice. And now it's gonna be deleted and go away. Perfect, love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Cool. Cool, let's uh, commit that. New origin, future, better unhealthy. over here and compare and pull request <laughs> Chech, this is slow <laughs> usually actually golint usually works really fast for me and, and test run really fast for me the compilation is usually quite quick um go is like ridiculously fast more often than not uh, we have a reasonably large code base uh, but everything's pretty cached so uh, let's just have a quick so a quick run through this, just real quick. Make sure that I've got nothing here stands out. Uh, check out healthy message. Yeah, I've got that. That's fine. Uh, by default, here's my recorder. Manly pusher and all this change. Beautiful. And then I just said perfect. Uh, let's also just done healthy games over health check fail. Make sure that that's a thing that we're constantly testing. Excellent. That actually looks really good. Um, I'm gonna give it a what do we want to call it? Probably operations feature. Uh, I'm not going. I'm gonna do it as a draft just because. Um, it's uh, what should we call it? We're still in feature freeze at the moment, uh, so I'm just gonna gonna keep it as draft. It means that nobody accidentally does anything with it. There we go. Okay, so that can run in the background and that'll make me happy. Ooh. Excellent. Um, there was another one thing I did want to do as well. Beautiful. Um, in my pull requests, which wasn't this one, wasn't this one, split the documentation. Yeah, this one. So I did a thing, this is something I really wanted to do for a really long time. Um, and that thing was that I wanted to uh, break apart our documentation for the install section. So um, yeah, that's literally what I want, perfect. Um, <clears throat> so let me show you, let me show you what we're working with here. What's going on? Okay, so like this installation section is like, the longest thing, like how ridiculous is that? Actually, if I shrink this down, 
so we can actually see the the right hand side right like you can see here like these are all the different clusters and different types and like some of it some of it like some of the helm stuff has got its own section some of the tower forms like it's it's a bit of a mess i have to say like i'm not it's not my favorite thing in the world um, i don't particularly like it um so I wanted to break it up and like lay it out better and, and do that kind of work. So uh, I did that, which was awesome. Um, and Robbie did an amazing thing, which is basically go through the entire getting started process all over again. Um, and so I was like, that's awesome. Um, and so we can, yeah. So I want to go through the comments that he made through all this stuff and then hopefully fix some of this stuff up. So uh, let's go to the master, make sure it's up to date. Uh, what was that? It was doc split install. Okay, check out docs split install. I will uh, three base master on top of that anyway. Um, just for fun, for, for funsies. All right, uh, what we'll do as well is we'll do, what is it, a site server? Yeah. Let's get that up and running. Localhost 1313. Beautiful. So now you'll see, right, like, look at this. Documentation, installation, right? Uh, we have our usage requirements. I've bolded this because no one ever pays attention to the fact that it's 113. <laughs> Probably because that page is like ridiculously large, right? Like now it's create a Kubernetes cluster, install it, go on it, deploy. If you want to use Terraform, um, right? Create cluster, Google Cloud, install it, go on it, yum, confirm installation, install it, Terraform. Like, look at that, look at that, so much neater. I'm just so happy about this. All right, <coughs> so yeah, let's go through, um, close that. Uh, do I have a task for this or no? No, that's fine. Um, so let's have a look see. All right, let's see what let's see what fun things Rob has for me here. Okay, creating cluster index.ml. Um, let's go into site content in docs. Uh, installation. Was it this one? I'm gonna get rid of that that thing there. I think it was this one, yeah? Was it just uh, installation creating? Oh, installation creating cluster. Well, I actually have used this guide in a bunch of different places. Um, so I probably should change it in both places then. He's like, it's not a guide. So we actually have this thing called a guide section, uh, which is like follow this guide. Um, yeah, same thing here. Maybe instructions for creating uh yeah maybe that's a creating a cluster follow this guide this is uh follow the, uh instructions yeah I like that instructions for creating a kubernetes cluster and installing agonas Cool, so that's just installation. So if we come over here, installation, instructions for creating a Kubernetes cluster and install it on it's beautiful. All right, that sounds good. This is huge. I'm just gonna shrink that down to like 80%. I think that's fine. Cool, um, that's great. And then if we go into create a cluster, and then so that becomes uh, instructions for creating a Kubernetes cluster to install Agon is on. I think that works. Uh, instructions, plural. Create a Kubernetes cluster to install Agon is on. Sweet, I'm down for that. That sounds good to me. Let's say thumbs up for you and a thumbs up for you. Beautiful. Nick directly seems prefer, super, super, oh my God, words, superfluous. Um, I would agree with that too. So let's have a look. AKS.MD. Uh, that's driving me nuts. I'm going to on. Bam. Yeah, I literally copy pasted a lot of this. I was like, oh, I'll just use the regular words that uh, um, are already here. And so then I was like, oh, I should probably like 
that's good. And so Robert actually read through it all because it's good. Um, create a cluster AKS, follow the steps to create a Kubernetes cluster. I'm down for that. Fully steps to create a Kubernetes cluster, install a guy on Azure and here. Fully steps to create a. Oh, see, that's actually kind of wrong. Uh, follow these steps to create a Kubernetes cluster four. Follow these steps to create a Kubernetes cluster for and uh, two install. Yes, two cluster two. Yeah, follow these steps to create a Kubernetes cluster to install. And the how the words words are hard. Um, follow these steps to create uh, to install a Kubernetes. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, so we should actually edit all of these. Eks gke right. Follow these steps to create a. Kubernetes cluster to install a Yeah. Can just switch this around. Follow these steps to create a Google Kubernetes engine cluster to install a on. Yeah, that's like way better of words. AKS. Um, follow these steps to create a Kubernetes service cluster to install a Gonazon or for your Agones install. Yeah, I like that better. Cluster for your Agones install. Uh, this isn't linked, but it's linked in the other space. So let's uh, let's do that. Where's my line? Uh, I think it's actually cloud.google.com slash GKE. I think is actually pretty accurate. <clears throat> so that will do the job. So it's great. Google click on your for you install for your Agones. Install. There we go. Fully steps for your guys. Fully steps for your guys. Install. Um, do the same thing for Amazon. EKS. What does EKS stand for? Uh, Amazon. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, no. Amazon EKS. Give me the thing. Here we go. Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service. Okay, follow these steps to create. That drives me nuts. Uh, ooh, that's a good one. AKS should be an. Thank you. AKS, uh, follow these steps to create. Uh, Amazon Kubernetes Service EKS cluster for your Agones install. Bam. Uh, let's drop that to a new line. <coughs> and yes, beautiful. Did I mess something up? Uh, yes, I did. That goes there, that goes there. Beautiful. All right, let's have a look at that now. Well, at least that's going to be a few cluster install. So to create a new cluster for your, for your uh, gun is cluster. There we go. And then Minikube. Uh, follow these steps to set up a Minikube cluster. Uh, running in a Gunness profile for your Gunness install. 
running it. Yeah, I don't know how much we care about the Agonis profile. Let's create a menu. We don't overlap any existing mini cube clusters who may be running. That's nicer. Um, yeah, get rid of that. It's from nuts. Such so to sort of a mini cube cluster for your Agonis install. Sweet. Amazon EKS. Yeah, I think I did that. Create. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Shetch, for looking over my shoulder and fixing up my language. Much appreciated. All right, so that's that's looking neater. Uh, cool. Uh, I will write a note saying um, updated all the descriptions to be uh, consistent. And more descriptive. Thumbs up. Comment. <clears throat> All right. Creating cluster AKS. Knit. It would be nice to add some space and line up the end of line comments blocks vertically. What is that referring to? I haven't got a clue. Let's have a look. So I think we're looking at the Amazon Kubernetes service. Saying creating cluster declaration AKS resource group. Okay, so that should tell me where it is that I'm looking at at least. Nope. AKS. AKS, not EKS. Why is that? Wow, that is really confusing. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's ugly. I think I see what he's saying, right? Like he's like, yeah. Nice open space line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Uh, here we go. Boom. How does that look? Nope. That didn't change anything. Oh, that's the old version. Okay, there's a newer version. Okay, 1.2.0. Set up AA Minikube. Ah, that's better. All right, let me come back to that. That looks better. Nice. What did I do on Minikube? Fix possible typo. And set up one word or two. Ah, well, I should just use to create because that's easier. Like I did everywhere else. <clears throat> Thank you, Chetch, once more for your wonderful help. Cool. All right, so that looks neater. That's all lined up nicely. Whew. So we got, can you make the descriptions consistent between the different pages? Yes, I did this. I have done that. Done. To add some white space so that this renders as lists. Creating cluster EKS possible steps are the following. So look what we're talking about. We're in EKS, which is Amazon. Ah, yes, that is a good point. Blam. Yeah, that was easy. I'm just going to actually... Oh, not that. That. Noise. Well spotted. Fantastic. Here we go. Knit, make Google Stream a link is done on the, yes, I've done that too. I actually just did that. So perfect, already done. 
Uh, it's a little bit weird that there are flag explanations for the metrics node pool, but not the Econesis node pool, and this is meant to cover both of them. Uh, that's a good question. That's a good point. Let's see what that is. So we go into Google Cloud. Uh, cluster version. Uh, no, no water grade. No taints. We don't define that anywhere. Number of nodes. Yeah, we probably should. Uh... Oh yeah. So like that's there. Um, there was like two explanations. I assume this is actually meant to explain this here. Uh, <coughs> that would make a certain amount of sense. There's a reflection of the for wooden seconds. I assume this means. Have the same uh, same flags, just with different values. Uh, should we list the same thing twice? Don't know. Do you think we should list the same explanation twice? That is a legitimately good question. Uh, I think it's fine, but I'm open to other opinions. Minikube, maybe point to Minikube sig start instead. Uh, what does that look like? Ah, Minikube uses Doxy as well. Nifty. Ooh, that's nice. We should use that. Uh, yep. Oh, wow. This is actually really good. That's new. I haven't seen that before. Give that a thumbs up. Copy link address. Uh, Minikube. Install Minikube. Splat. Nice. I like it. The other pages you use hash hash for headings, which I think looks better. Can you adjust this in subsequent levels? Uh, GKE. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's, that's, yes. That is. Um, uh, let's have a look. That might actually be where we want it to be. I may have just, uh, before you begin, choosing a shell, cloud shell. And then clash all of that. And then creating a cluster should be in exactly that should be two, and that should be two. So next step should be the same. <clears throat> yep, that looks better. Nice. Yeah, I like that. Uh, where's that confirm? It's going to be in here, right? works for me. I have no problem with that. Yep. We don't want duplicating words. That's just, that's just terrible. Let's have a look. Install, confirm installation. Here we go. Verify the installed installed successfully. Beautiful. All right, cool. <clears throat> Oops. Next. This creates doesn't make sense to me. So like you'll now create a generated Confirm this creates this installs. Hmm, 
Oh, look what that says. Okay, confirm.md. What's others? That's it. Uh, this has installed. Because uh, I think that's that's actually accurate. Like you install the CRD, you don't like start it. Uh, this has now installed because measure the paragonis and lot of fire research as well as as well as all the supporting components inside of <coughs> all of the supporting components that uh, provide the agonis and what are we doing? So we're doing like a da, 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 da. There's a running on the command, best place to have, and they should describe six problems in the system and there are such conditions. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is accurate. Uh, that's it. This, um, yeah, that's just, that's actually like a really weird statement in the context of this. Um, That's it. Uh, now that Agonis is installed, uh, you can utilize its custom resource definitions. It's custom resource to create resources type game server as well as other fleets and more. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, agreed. It's kind of weird. Uh, control installation. What does it look like? <clears throat> I kind of wanted. To, I, I'm guessing my theory was I wanted to link to like custom resource definitions, and like be able to, to be like, hey, you should probably read what this thing is, and like so you can tell and know and that kind of stuff. Um, but it feels a little weird. Yeah, yeah, I agreed. Let's take a stab at reworking it. Uh, please take a look. Drop it in favor of something like Please move this alert to the top. It's all gone as. Where's this file in the YAML.md? Interesting. Let's have a look what it means. So let's look at YAML. <clears throat> uh, yes, that warning should be at the top. I agree. That is a, that is a good. Also saying, uh, maybe also explicit that this isn't recommended for reduction due to cert reuse. I think as you just told the new rules, if you want to generate new cert, we recommend using the Helm installation, which I should link to. Um, see, real ref. I think it's just Helm.md, isn't it? Installation. Uh, 
Let me generate. Uh, or, let me enter this in here. Uh, or use your own. What do we want to say here? Uh, place in the top. Yep. Perfect. Love it. Uh, maybe also explicit cloud. This isn't recommended. <laughs> <coughs> Generate new suit for user own. Uh, we recommend using the Helm installation. Production workloads, maybe we'll do that. <clears throat> I think that's probably. I think that works. I think that sounds good. Literally just did that. Wording a little. Let's take a look. Uh, since install with Terraform is the same level as create cluster and install guys, maybe move this up a level and link from the two Terraports. Up a level and link from the two Terraform guides as well. Uh, let's see what he means. Oh, I see what he's saying. He's saying like pull this up into uh, the installation section and maybe put it underneath like where upgrading is. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that. I like that a lot. Yes. So pull confirm into installation. That's fine. Should probably break a bunch of links, but that's okay. We'll get there. Rating is a hundred, so confirm can be like ninety. That's an excellent suggestion. That is an excellent suggestion. Nice. Comment. <clears throat> Uh, what we want to do then is when we do a store with gone is, uh, I feel like there's a next steps down here. Yeah, I got the next section, uh, which would be that. Let's make sure that I actually got that link right. Terraform, I guess. GKE, same thing. Uh, and I will also need to. Beautiful. <coughs> I don't know, I like those wording, but that's all right. Maybe say next step here rather than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. find that uh, let's make that hash hash next steps Pistol. yep should we next steps or what's next what do we use Cluster, like I do Google Cloud, and I go on the bottom, and I have a next steps. Okay, so next steps is right. What's <clears throat> the set YAML? Let's just download it. Just like that. Uh, beautiful. Yeah, that's a that's a nicer way of doing it. Uh, Split terraform <coughs> and put that there. G -E. All right. Oh, what happened there? What? 
thought I fixed all that up. That's better. Oh god, go away. There we go. Uh, looks right. That looks right. That looks right. That looks right. Okay, cool. We fun. All right, cool. Split installation guide. Yep, love that. Here, installation Terraform. Drop the GK cable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Terraform. I think I missed that. I would have done that if I'd seen it. <clears throat> uh, bum, 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 bum. Deploy Kubernetes cluster and install Kubernetes. Cluster and install it. Going using Terraform. All right, sweet. <sighs> nice. Blam. Helm has a link. Should this too? Yes, it should. Beautiful. What is Terraform? That seems legit. What? Beautiful. Here we go. <coughs> uh, and the, and maybe use in the. Terraform AKS. Drop the the. What's he talking about? Capital T. Um, all right, installing the Agones. Oh, installing the Agones. Using Terraform. Yeah, that's nice. What do we have up here? Uh, installing Agones on Google Cloud Energy using Terraform. If we're going to be consistent. Hey, switches a lot. How you doing today? Uninstall, but not install. Using Terraform, yeah, using Terraform, okay. That seems fine. Um, do, 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 do. What are we talking about here? Inside Terraform AKS, drop the net. No, we did that. Terraform AKS, there's a heading for uninstall, but not for install. Huh. Are we saying that we should have one? Just doing the instruction doesn't just okay, so we should we should put a thing on there. Uh, do we have one on here? Something like that. What do we, do we normally have a thing there? I don't know if we do. Oh, I guess we do somewhat. Uh, I didn't think we did. Getting started. Well, like create games are really like. Yeah, yeah. Huh? I guess we. Yeah, I guess we do. I guess we do. No, usually have a <clears throat> before you begin or. A, yeah, sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. Something like that. Hmm, something like that. Something like that seems fine. <laughs> Just 
Change the confirm things are working, which I think I just did. Yep, done that. Cool. Using Terraform. Yep, I did that too. Still only going on Google Screen Engine using Terraform. Yeah, I did that. I think gke.md. I'll just double check it. Yeah, lovely. <coughs> I suggest copying the first part before the begin section. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that a lot. So that's actually a really good idea. Uh, uh, where are we? Um, kind of cluster, GKE, before you begin. Probably something that eventually should be in its own. Put it again, just a shell. Beautiful. Ah, bloody cloud shell. It's that, that Im <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, just give me that. Um, cut. Where are we? Uh, static, here we go. Images, paste, okay. Now, yeah, Cloud Shell, static slash images, I think it is. Ugh. Say static slash images from memory. Did I get that right? No? Or just slash images? There it is. Beautiful. Um, that one. Done. Cool. Tess will pick that up too, so that's okay. <coughs> Excellent. Okay, that's coming together. Uh, to replace the two verify was installed successfully by the platform with a link to the new confirming page. GKE.md. delete that that's a good call I think the sense can be removed uh, it's a good question what are we looking at uh, installation underscore index installation underscore index in this quick start we will create a Kubernetes cluster and properly resource types uh, yeah, I think he's 100% right. Yep. Beautiful. The uh, <clears throat> notion kind, I think we should remove it from here since there are any restrictions to use it and leave it in the GitHub documentation. Yeah, that's probably legit. Uh, that is true. Uh, yeah, I don't think anyone actually tests it right now. Yeah, valid point. Also, I don't think anyone actually tests it now. So I don't think anyone's testing on it currently.
Oof. All right. So that is looking, how tidy things up really nicely. Cool. Uh, review updates. I'm just going to call it that. And push that up. And apparently I need to submit my review. <clears throat> Excellent. Uh, I don't have any requested changes. Did I have something at the bottom? What did I have stuff that I thought? Yeah, I think I responded to everything. Yeah, this should be kicking into, oh, it would help if I push that up properly. Cool. Now that's going up and now it's going into checks. Cool. All right. And on that note, I am going to leave you. Um, <clears throat> thanks for hanging out with me while I did all this work. It was fun. It was nice having some company. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at Neurotic. Uh, that's where I post stuff that I'm doing things and whatnot. Uh, follow me here on Twitch. Follow me on YouTube, at Mark S. Mandel. If you are so inclined, I'll put the recording up at some point later as well. Um, and all the other good things. All right. Yeah, that's really about it. I just wanted to potter on some stuff and get some bits and pieces done. So... Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you all next time.